Hey everyone, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be checking out the rod buckle retractable tie down straps. And these are going to be made by Boat Buckle. Um, if you've never heard of that name before, uh, they make really good stuff for all different types of applications, mostly marine stuff from straps to hold, hold your boat down to things like this and, and everything in between. And so really high quality parts and you know something you really can't go wrong with. Chances are pretty good if you're watching this, you've probably seen this before, maybe on a friend's boat or one you used to have or something very similar. And it's a really uh, you know simple way to help keep your rods and reels managed uh, when you're out on the water fishing. Um, you know, it's just a strap that's gonna retract and so you can have your, your rods laid out on your deck and whenever you're getting ready to, getting ready to go, that'll kind of lock over it. Just kind of help keep everything secured and prevent it from flying off your boat or bouncing around too much. So first impression of this, uh, I like it. One of the very first things I noticed was this mechanism here, it fits really tight and really snug and I think that's good, especially right out of the box because probably over time it might loosen up a little bit but you, know, you got expensive uh, outfits you know, and, and rigs, you want them to be secured. That's the whole point of it, right? And then the other thing I noticed was I really like the strap. Um, it feels super strong, but it has kind of this, this plasticky type coating on it. And my thought is, you know, for, for a lot of, you see a lot of these for people out bass fishing and stuff. Um, I'm a cat fisherman, so my boat at home, I have it set up differently with pole holders and stuff. But um, I'm just imagining how I could see some of my friends using this. You are a best fisherman. You know, you got all your rods laid out up here and a bunch of different lures and stuff tied on. So you have a bunch of hooks. And I could see if this was just a regular, like, fabric type material, I could see those hooks kind of catching it and then just fraying it all apart and becoming a huge pain. And with this stuff, you know, I just have a circle hook here. If I dig into it, it will puncture it, I feel like, but you can kind of slide that across. I'm putting decent pressure on it too. And it hangs up a little bit, but it don't fray. You know, like if you were to put it into this, it starts to, you know, really, it don't take much, it starts to chew up. I'm sure we've all experienced that before. So. Uh, it's a really nice touch and I think it'll keep you less frustrated when you're out on the water and not dealing with getting all hung up and, and uh, whatnot in the strap. Something that come to mind too that I like is this doesn't really take up any space at all, right? So the main portion of it will mount kind of inside the boat's uh, gunnel here. And as far as your deck or wherever you have the other end mounted, it's just a, a piece of plastic um, that would be in your way if you even want to call it that you know so you still you don't lose any any real estate as far as that's concerned uh, which is always a priority at least in my boat they can never be big enough right um, and so I'm just kind of thinking you know if you got all your your rigs out here and all your different baits on poles or whatever and you're kind of running and gunning or tournament fishing or whatever you know you can grab grab your pole do your thing, change it out real quick, whatever, and then when you're on to the next spot, you're not dealing with putting all this stuff away and rod lockers and everything else. It takes about two seconds to lock that down and you're on your way. You don't have to necessarily use these just for fishing poles either. You know, you can kind of get creative. Good all around tie down, really. So our neighbor here today, troll motor pedal, now you don't have a tray to set this in, and so when he's towing it and whatnot, you know, you can use this to, to lock it down. Or maybe, you know, I'm just thinking out loud, maybe you're not going to be fishing, you got the family out with you, you might be able to use this to wrap up around another small cooler or bag of supplies or whatever the case may be. So, like I said, good all-around uh, tie-down strap. As far as uh, how long the strap is going to be, if you were to pull it all the way out, and then to the very end there, it's gonna be 24 inches. Keep in mind though, you don't wanna mount it, you know, completely maxed out like that because when you take this off, you know, you are gonna to have to kinda of 
move it forward a little bit and, and pop it up. So give yourself a little breathing room there as, as far as that uh, is concerned. But this one is mounted in pretty close actually. And I'm still able to get three big poles and uh, a medium power one with some big spinning reels and stuff taking up a lot of space. So um, even not completely maxed out, you get quite a bit of space to work with and you can hold down a lot of rods. As far as the how it retracts, it's actually pretty fast and locks in pretty good. It's smooth pulling out. Um, you know, this is designed to work with the gunnel. So you see a lot of people mount them up on the sides up front like this. But like I said, you can get creative with these. Um, as far as putting them on the deck, laying them flat, I don't see why it can't be done. Uh, it sounds like people do it. Keep in mind though, you know, this will be poking up a little bit because it does set like that. And I've kind of heard some people say over time when they're mounted on the deck that they kind of get hard to pull out and come back in. And it makes sense because if sand and mud and water and stuff gets piled up in there, eventually that's just gonna, that's just gonna be what happens, you know? So just keep that in mind. Um, if you don't like how this looks, this whole piece here, they actually uh, offer a more stealth type setup where it looks a little bit different, it's a little less noticeable and we carry that. So if um, that's something that interests you, you can always check that out. So a lot of people probably wondering, I know I'd be, is this gonna work with my boot, right? And so I'll give you a couple measurements, hopefully that'll help you figure out. As far as the length of it goes, it's gonna be about four and a half inches. In terms of the height there, it's gonna be right at two and a half. Uh, I'll go from center hole, and get my square right here, from our attachment points there, from center to center. That looks like it's gonna be right about four inches. And as far as the depth of this, I wanna to mention too, this little foam backing that doesn't come with this. This is just something we had to put on here to kind of clear our LED lights, but just wanted to mention that. As far as the depth of it, let's see here. That will be, and I'm gonna go to the furthest point of our faceplate there. It's gonna be about an inch and three quarters, give or take. So. Uh, relatively compact for for what it is and this should work with a lot of scenarios you know um, in our case here's the hole that this goes in and it's a really snug fit um, so I'd say you need a, at least need to make an opening of this size and our lights here we accommodated for too so they're not taking up any room and in terms of how big the hole is from that way, it's about three and three eighths of an inch. And about an inch and three quarters high, maybe a, a, a shade more. So just to kind of give you a rough idea, you know, on if this is gonna fit and this is gonna be the size opening that you're gonna need to create to actually get this in there. And like I said too, with that depth, you know, you wanna have enough clearance inside there for this, for this container to sit in. In most cases, unless you're way up towards the front or something, uh, you'll have sufficient room for, for this to work. But other than that, at the end of the day, you know, really well-built product. Uh, it should last for quite some time and is a super simple, easy solution to secure things down to your boat.